I will start with uh, renewable energies. Solar and uh, wind and hydropower, it is absolutely promising energy sources for sustainable society. But there is one big problem. We cannot obtain the power sources when we need it. It depends on the weather conditions. We have to balance demand and supply at the same time. On the other hand, conventional power grid is almost the same as the 100 years ago. Nikola Tesla designed basically the conventional grid, but he did not consider renewable energy at that time. So more and more renewable energy is introduced into conventional grid. The power grid becomes unstable and it needs stabilizing. Is smart grid is enough to solve this issue? No, I don't think so. I believe that the smart storage system is one of the key for, the, for this issue. The smart storage system com composed of three key technologies, forecasting to managing uncertainties, and the inverter, which enable us with software control. And the last one is a battery to storage it. Uh, firstly, I'll talk on digitalized inverter technologies. Most of the power grid is composed of analog devices, and because of which the system does not have flexibility against those uncertainties. However, when we think about the history of analog devices, most of them were replaced by solid-state digitalized devices, just as analog TV was replaced by LCD digital TV. So we can easily imagine that analog components will be replaced by digitalized technologies. With digitalized technologies, we can control the power grid by software. And then, forecasting algorithm for control management is another key technology. The risk of a power grid can be reduced with accurate forecasting. Accurate forecasting can provide the efficient system control under limited resources. With those two technologies, storage system can be efficient and feasible elements. As you know, we already use batteries in mobile devices, but it was limited to small appliances. It has been impossible for bigger power devices to store energies for many years. But in the 1990s, there was a big advancement in battery technologies, in lithium-ion batteries. It enabled us to enjoy present mobile life. At the same time, the cost has been dramatically dropped. Thus, it is now feasible that we can use batteries for larger applications like electrical vehicles and grid strategies. But there is one big technical issue left, the product lifetime. The real problem was no one can tell us when we should change the battery. Theoretically, it was almost impossible to predict the battery life beforehand. But thanks to big data technology, we collect big data from battery users. We are now gradually able to evaluate expected battery life based on users' use case. Now, smart storage technology is ready to use. However, battery itself is not the objective. I, myself, love to have battery itself, but normally no one wants battery itself. Technology has to be translated into each user's value like offering a business services model. Here's one rough concept, cloud battery service, the combination of distributed battery and cloud battery. We can charge or discharge whenever we need. Furthermore, we can exchange our produced energy over the network. I would summarize this topic. Technology is ready to change the conventional power grid. We researchers are now seeking the way how the, those technologies should be installed. I will really appreciate if you join our discussion and uh, let us know how to promote it. My key question is what should be the next approach to promote, to, to provide attractive services for users with battery technologies? Thank you very much.